Hello guys, welcome back. So on today's series, we'll be looking at a stepper motor again. The intent is to control the stepper motor without any pre-selected library and apply parameters to change its motion. So let's illustrate. So when we type clockwise, our stepper motor rotates in a clockwise direction. And if we type anti-clockwise, our motor rotates in anti-clockwise direction. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, the electronic arrangement is as per the um, per the schematics here. So we have a stepper motor which is connected to a motor driver. Then it's connected to Arduino Uno, and the stepper motor is being powered by the nine volt battery. Let's jump to our IDE. Initially, we are starting off by defining the variables that we'll be using in our script, which is here. Our variables can be categorized as a connection port, or it can be defined as the temporary variable or the operating parameter variables. The operating parameters further goes through the um, conversion where the revolution angle is converted to a number of steps and the speed of the motor is converted to a delay time between the incrementing steps as shown here okay let's jump to our uh, void setup we are initially uh, defining our board rate which is 9600 and uh, beginning our serial and the pins where the stepper motor is connected um, which is which are these will be receiving signal from those pins hence we indicate them as um, output in regards to our uh, void loop in our void loop initially we wait for the number of characters from the serial and when it is received meaning serial dot available is greater than zero we jump to the following commands we need a temporary temporary variable called message uh, that would hold the characters from the serial the number of characters of the variable is defined by the integer within the brackets we also use another variable named message pos pos to navigate through the indices of the recorded characters and it starts off with index 0 okay so the serial read which is here it reads one character at a time from the Arduino serial and it assigns temporarily each of these characters to a variable called invite Then through if statement, which is here, we check if the assigned character does not equals to a backslash n, which is equivalent to the enter key that we press on our keyboard. If it's true, we take the character from invite and assign it to variable message, which is here at the given index. Then we increase the index by one to capture the next character. Otherwise, if the enter key is recognized, the character backslash zero gets assigned to the last index, meaning end of the data. Then we convert the captured character to a string and print it out on our serial. So. A message here is in a character format and uh, we're using string function to convert it into a string and assign to this variable and the message string variable gets printed out in our serial then we reset the uh, message pos uh, index to zero so that the um, cycle, uh, cycle repeats itself So 
So, as indicated uh, previously, um, if the message from our command equals to clockwise, we activate the function stepper clockwise. Stepper clockwise here, which is defined uh, below. I'll be going through the function in a bit. Otherwise, else if the message string, the variable message string, is same as the um, value anti-clockwise, we activate the function stepper anti-clockwise. Otherwise, we print a message on the serial saying invalid input try again, which is here. Okay, let's run through our function. In a function stepper motor, anti-clockwise, we run a loop, for loop, um, between zero and the number of steps that are defined for the given angle. Initially, we energize one of the ports and retain the remaining ports low. Then we delay for a few milliseconds and energize the next port while keeping the uh, remaining ports low. We repeat this process four times to make a small angular, angular rotation. The same applies to functional uh, stepper clockwise, which is here, but the order is reverse. Okay guys, so based on this, let's do a slight demonstration. Let's open our serial and start typing clockwise again. As you can see, our stepper motor rotates in a quite clockwise direction by the defined um, angle of 90 degrees. So let's see here, it's defined, 90 degrees. So if we change it to 180 and upload the script, let's rotate the stepper motor by 180 degrees in clockwise direction again. As you can see, the stepper motor rotates by 180 degrees. And if we apply anti-clockwise, the stepper motor rotates anti-clockwise by 180 degrees. We can adjust the speed as well. So let's change it to 4 RPM and upload our script. Let's rotate it in a clockwise direction while keeping the angle the same as before. The stepper motor rotates at a smaller RPM than before. Anti-clockwise. The stepper motor rotates in anti-clockwise direction by 180 degrees. Okay guys, thank you for watching and I shall see you next time. Take care.